back to the table, everybody. Today we are here and we just played Perch, the newest game by Inside Up Games. And I'm here at Adam 2023 with some really cool content creators. So we've got Danielle. Hi, I'm Danielle Standring from the internet. <laughs> and I'm Jonah from Tantrum House. You've probably seen us on YouTube or other social media platforms, but I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and so we all got a chance to play a five person game of Perch yesterday. So we're going to do a just play. We've only played it once. We want to tell you what we thought of the game. So. What did you guys think? I really enjoyed it. It brought out the worst in me. <laughs> Possibly uh, the worst. I played with a bunch of people that I've never really played games with. And they got to see true colors come through. Because <laughs> it can be kind of a mean game. It definitely can be a mean game. To be fair, this is the type of game where you're putting out birds on little perches, on little places around the board, and you're trying to go for area control. Um, but you're not just putting your own birds, you're taking birds out of the bag and also placing other people's birds. So we had quite a few moments where you'd place somebody else's bird to really hurt what they were trying to go for. Ruthless. It was ruthless. <laughs> I made the mistake of getting a lot of points round one, and mm -hmm. that was just game over from there. Target on, not even on my back, my forehead. Yes, yes, you know. yes. From yours truly over here. <laughs> well, in the game, there's a bunch of different locations, and some of them give you really cool benefits, and some of them give you benefits that aren't so good. So when you're That's placing true. someone else's bird, well, I'm kind of going to put you on a location that maybe is not so good. So we had a couple yes. of locations where we were kind of, it was our birds <laughs> on the location. So we yeah. were kind of pitted against each other. We're beak for beak. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it wasn't us, though. It just the way the birds flew south. <laughs> <laughs> they flew the coop. Yeah. But also, I do like the aspect where it's not just like one on one. No. You might, for your own benefit, give someone else points. So you're like, not necessarily like, how can I take away points from you, but how can I give someone else points to get me more points? So there's more of a dynamic other than just like, oh, I'm going to screw you. Like, yep. it's it, it it's more than just like that. And what I thought was unique too is that it's really unfriendly ties, like really, really unfriendly Very ties. Unfriendly it's not ties. just like half rounded down. It's if you're tied, no one gets the points. Nothing. So if you two tied for first and second, you do get nothing. And then I would get third if I'm on my own. But if I'm also tied for third, I also get nothing. nothing. So the whole place scores literally nothing. Yeah. One thing that I thought was really cool is that the point totals for majority on these different locations sometimes are not giving the most points for first, mm -hmm. right? Or having the majority. So sometimes you might actually place someone else's bird, giving them the majority, because if I'm in second, I'll get more points than you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll get a special ability, possibly, but if I'm getting more points, points is how you win the game. Yep. So. Yeah, exactly. And not all is lost either. So like, it may feel like you're just getting <laughs> shoved out of the nest but like there's like a backup plan there's like this nice little fountain and you're like okay like that didn't feel good so i'm gonna go wash it off a little bit in the fountain so there was never a point where i felt like completely out of it out of it like it actually i was really surprised by the end there was like there was a huge spread between like first and last and then by the end i think it was like a 15 it, yeah point it all spread. came really, yeah. really close, close together so it, it i yeah you weren't out of it and you i was i was so surprised at the end that i was third yeah. Like, and I thought it was done. It was, it was really close for first, too, because it came down to these endgame objectives, right? Where it did. I think you were in the lead, even. I would have had it. You were so I close. Had it. And then you didn't get your endgame objectives, sure which took points away. And I got mine, which pushed me up. But it was, like you said, it was really, really close yeah. and very swingy round to round. What I also thought was interesting was that if you're in first, you go first. Which, which in is this not game, great. yeah, you lose all control because that means everyone gets to place after you and you're kind of just at the whim of the table yep. on where your birds land. And tiptoeing around that one tile that lets you give someone first place, mm -hmm. like that was some hot competition for that to make sure that another person, not you, yes. was in first place. That's Definitely. Right. I thought that they, there's some miniatures in the game and there's like special abilities, and I thought that they represented the character that they were really well yeah. so like there's a scare we played with a scarecrow mm -hmm. and a cat and an owl and it was really cool because it was like well the cat's gonna move to an adjacent location and chase away some of the birds yes. mm -hmm. and it was like well of course he's going to that's what a cat would do <laughs> right yeah or or a uh, owl's gonna fly over and, and take one bird away and i thought that was really cool it, it just kind of flowed it makes sense yeah that scarecrow was sitting in the middle of the board and what he does he like sits in between a bunch of different squares and then the person who plays it can scare birds from the surrounding areas and he's just sitting there like ominously the whole round <laughs> who knows what it's just gonna waiting. happen i'm like is it gonna be me and he gets you get to go to the fountain so you're like maybe i will go to the fountain but the scarecrow may not scare me um so the element of surprise 
Turned into a little bit of a negotiation yeah. game, too, around like, the table. Like, oh, you sure you don't want to just move by for it? No, there? I'm happy to take only one point if you just leave me <laughs> there. Like, don't send me anywhere else, please. So who would you guys say you would recommend this game to? Who's this game for? I say if you like mean games. Yeah, I do think if you like a lot of player interaction, there is a lot of player interaction here. Um, I thought also, we played at five, but it was pretty quick. Like, it's very it quick. quick turns. It yeah. was quick. It was definitely... I was pleasantly surprised with that too, because I feel like once you get into like five player territory, it can your turn can drag. drag in the AP. Yeah. In the AP, I guess like thinking about what you have to do, there's plenty to like choose from, but everything seemed to like benefit. So everything felt yes. good. There was yeah. never like, oh, I really don't want that one because I'm not going to get anything out of it. Mm -hmm. There was always some sort of benefit to going there. Right. I never had a turn where I was like, oh, well, this is useless. I always did yeah. something for someone. And so it made an impact what I was doing. Yeah. Now, I don't think the game has to be super mean. I think it definitely has the components to be there. But we played a game. And since we all, at five players, since we all were kind of negating yes, each, each other, other, it didn't seem super mean. It no. just seemed like, well no one's going to get ahead that mm -hmm. much because we're all just going to make sure that we kind of stay low. We're here, all just going to hold each other back a yeah. little, little bit. <laughs> like, um, no, we're not going to sprint. <laughs> but I definitely think it's got the ability, if you play with a group of people who like to gang up mm, on a person yeah. or who just really enjoy, I'm only going to target this color or only going to target this person, then it can be really devastating. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. Pretty easily. Uh, so if you've got a group of friends like that, yeah, be I might careful. put someone be out. careful. Um, so who is not for? So someone with a group like that, maybe if they're a little too mean for your taste. I would also say if you got any groups who don't like take that, mm -hmm. uh, there's really no way to play this without like yeah. some yeah. kind of screw your neighbor. Like you're gonna have to do something that's gonna hurt someone else in order to get ahead. But when a game, when it's deliberate in that sense, when it's meant to be that, like there's no other ways to like collect points. Like you're trying to do some strategy alone, and then someone comes in and like ruins your day. Like yep. this this game, it sets the precedent that. You're going to ruin someone's day somehow. <laughs> I would also say, we asked about two and what it was like at a lower player count. And it goes down to two player, where you would then put in a dummy kind of third bird. Mm -hmm. um, I would still recommend, though, I think I would rather play this at higher player counts. Yeah, this I definitely wouldn't play this below three. Yeah, like I think, I think it really shines the player interaction. Yes, definitely. But overall, what did you guys think of it? Just I from really, one play. I really enjoyed it. It was fun, refreshing, and I liked the theme of it. Like you're saying, it tied in really well to like what the different things do. Like, this, this. Yeah, for me, the ability to have um, different locations. You don't play with all the locations out, so you're mm -hmm. always going to get some variety in there. I love an in-game bonus. That, to me, makes <laughs> a game. Because you can pay attention to what's happening on the scorecard, but if I've got nine points coming at the end of the game that you didn't know about, that, that to me, makes a big deal. So I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Nice. So overall, we really enjoyed our play of Perch. Definitely take a chance to check out this game. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Until next time, make sure everyone has fun at the table, and we'll see you then. For some tabletop, tabletop opinionated minds, you're welcome. Oh, you got that. Put that in the uh, blooper room. <laughs>